speaking about an outsider's point of view, to a certain degree, most of you are in some way or another, let's say, graced or damned with an outsider's view. I mean, you are actually a uh, Cypriot and basically therefore a foreigner, so to speak, in Greece, while you were to a certain degree really coming from the States back to a certain degree like uh, Konstantinos Yanadis those film at, uh, from the edge of the city we are also showing. So actually most of the filmmakers who are, let's say, of certain interest at this point if for Greek cinema have this outsider perspective. Is this something that you find, let's say, useful or, or at times also like a bit of a problem? I guess it is useful because it's uh, always healthy to have a distance and it sort of like clarifies the gaze. Uh, and yes, you know, I've, I've thought of it many times that uh, the ones who are now, um, you know, talking about Greece through our cinema are the ones who somehow have left, have been educated abroad, also because there is no film school in Greece. Um, which is a, a tragedy, <laughs> an ancient Greek tragedy. Um, and I don't know, for, for me, I can say that uh, I always work in um, in states of exile and that, you know, I like, I like a feeling that I don't belong. You know, that's a liberating uh, state of being for me. Um, and I don't think that I would have made Attenberg if I hadn't left, you know, for almost 15 years and I didn't come back to confront something that was, you know, as if I was going to Mars. Uh, yeah, well, I, I'm, I'm in, in Greece uh, since I was 20 years old, so uh, of course... It's many years now. Uh, of course, it helped. It helped that I, uh, you know, I suddenly threw myself from a small island uh, uh, in Athens and in the Greek situation. Okay. Uh, of course, my uh, my point of view was more, maybe more clear, more. Uh, uh, straight to see things and all this stuff. Uh, yeah, if I, if maybe if I was, you know, uh, born in uh, in Athens, uh, you know, it, it, maybe uh, I, I, I I wouldn't make maybe the films I've I've done later. You know, who knows. I'm not really an outsider, I mean, uh, except of the three or four years that I spent in England studying and everything. Uh, I lived the rest of my life in Greece, and I, w I was born in Athens from Athenian parents and everything, so it's like Athens is my hometown. But I can tell you about... Uh, it was very interesting for, for the film we made with Jan that we could both combine uh, our uh, view we had on on... Contemporary, uh, contemporary Athens and uh, the arguments that we had and uh, the things that we shared in common and other th ideas that uh, in some of them I had some preoccupations and Jan helped me to uh, look at them from a different angle or the other way around some things that uh, Jan thought, uh, you know, they are like this but uh, it's just because uh, he's an outsider and he watched it for... You know, he didn't have the time to get deeper on that. So sometimes I would suggest him another way to look at things. So it was very interesting, and so it's uh, it made uh, even better. You know, the the film, and you know, it's two different stories, but at the same time, it's two different gazes on the uh, on today's uh, Greece. But I'll. Yeah, that's what Ayiris said. Is um, 
Exactly right. For our film, we had two different perspectives on a lot of things uh, because he grew up. Uh, he looks he looks at it from the inside, and I look at it from from the outside. My experiences maybe coming the last ten years a lot of times to spending a lot of time in Greece, but uh, I didn't grow up in Greece. So, yeah, for for my perspective can only be my perspective, uh, the things that I see, the things that I feel, um, which is obviously from an outsider, not not uh, growing up, not going to a Greek school, not uh, spending your youth in Greece. Yeah, it's uh, a visitor who spends, observer who spends a lot of time, and I have um, friends in Greece, so. Yeah, I get to know it from the inside, but of course it's a uh, yeah. I'm I'm not social. I how you call it? I didn't get my my education. I didn't get all the this cultural inheritance. The the socialized. The, uh, you weren't socialized. yeah. I'm not socialized exactly. I don't get the. I have. The, I didn't have to deal with the opinions from the from Greek parents or, or whatever it is. My view is of course very different. Um, talking about outsiders, um, I can talk about um, cinema being an outsider art in general in in Greece right now because uh, you know when you try to make films in a country that it uh, does not have a education that does not offer you an education, so in a way you're sort of like an amateur naive artist, the same way outsider painters naive painters, you know, they make the stuff without any training, without going to a fine art school. Um, and when there is no, no funding in your country and also there is no respect for you as an artist, um, you feel like an, you know, an outsider in general. I mean, it's almost like, um, um, we make movies as if we are um, sort of like these passionate teenagers who are pursuing their hobby. Um, you know, there is not a there is not the support or the respect, not just from the state. Um, you know, from whatever private investors or by the audience, which is something that slowly started to come back to Greek cinema in the last, I would say, three years. It, for the, I think for the first time, um, people who did not go to see um, like commercial popular comedies, which is the only kind of cinema that has had a, a public in Greece, like the first time that I think people went to the cinema to see a Greek movie was with... Kostadinos Yanner is the edge of a city and Yanis is Matchbox. And that was like a historic moment 10 years ago. And lately now, in the last three years since Doctooth, um, people are beginning to slowly trust Greek cinema again. So I think our, our duty is to not lose this very hard earned trust. But, you know, we can't totally do it by ourselves you know it was uh, you know it was uh, three decades uh, we, we had in, in, in the one side some mainstream uh, comedies f movies and in the other side it was uh, for, ma for many many years it was uh, you know the the, the the great artists uh, movie, you know, everybody was uh, thinking uh, itself like a big cinema poet, you know. So uh, the movies, uh, the films, uh, you know, it, it, it was only for some very few people for uh, for himself for the director and some very few who could understand him. So uh, gradually the, 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 the Greek cinema lost the, um, the connect with uh, society. Yeah. 
these three decades, okay? I mean, and, it, you know, it was like basically Angelopoulos, you know, which is, you know, for uh, two decades, it was identical with Greek cinema. 70s, 80s, 90s. Yeah, 70s, 80s, 90s. Um, so it was either that, which is one kind of cinema, one kind of Greece, or nothing. Um, although there were amazing examples of uh, Greek authors um, who, until today, they have been completely unknown. And I have to say that part of the reason for that, it was not just the sort of like inwardness, that Greek cinema had, but also the fact that we did not have the mechanism of promoting our films, um, which is something, you know, like that the French, the German, the Americans are doing. You know, we did not have that mechanism of realizing that a body of work, for example, by Nicolaidis, uh, whose film, one of his films is shown tonight, is uh, the body of a true auteur. Like, his own country did not recognize that. So it's very difficult for this work to actually travel across the border and be known. But this, this was a small exception. I mean, not Nikolai, this is some, uh, of course, there were these 30 years, there were very important filmmakers, okay? But they were few. Most of the filmmakers in these 30 years who domain the period who took money from the state, who make films, who took awards in the Thessaloniki Film Festival all the time, um, through Greek cinema in a deep hole. Okay, and... And, yeah, and somehow made films that uh, were... Even Nicolaidi threw him in a deep hole. I mean, in these 30 years, uh, the, the director, Athena, was... Uh, tell you about it was so put in the yeah in the margins aside. he was marginalized basically the official affronter so to speak mm -hmm. also also i think it was a very uh, different uh, you know social environment for for good films to let them grow and everything because it was the 80s and the 90s were like right after the dictatorship and all these hard times that we've been, uh, that, that, that the whole country has been through. And it was like, uh, you know, especially the 80s, it was like, uh, okay, let's have a party. It was, uh, it wouldn't let anything like uh, socially uh, committed in our way to, to grow. It was more like... Uh, uh, let's have fun and not think of things because we we spend all this time thinking. And uh, it was the times of uh, uh, a fake prosperity and uh, the time that uh, all Greeks thought they were rich and that uh, they were making money. And then the, the came the nineties with the stock market going like boom, and you know everybody was thinking uh, that this is going to last forever. So it wasn't really the need, uh, for, both from the uh, from the uh, filmmakers and from the audience to uh, to get attached to something like socially, uh, you know, and actually make them think and everything. I mean, back in the 80s, we had uh, like the most, I mean, there were some people doing good films.